What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 60 minute back arms and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 60 minute workout today. We are gonna hit the upper body and our abs today. And we're working for 60 minutes with a good long warm up and cool down. So that'll be included in your time today. Make sure you've got your dumbbells ready. I've got kind of some light to medium dumbbells today. I've got eight, 10, 15, 20, and 25 pound dumbbells. The heavier moves that you'll do will involve a bent over row or an overhead tricep extension. So know the weights that you kind of use for those. Grab those dumbbells. And then also the lighter weights will involve things like kickbacks and bicep curl pulses, so, and also your core, okay? So grab the weights that work for you and whatever weights those are, it's perfect for you today, all right? I'm gonna push you no matter what. So give me a big thumbs up if you are ready and before you head out today, don't forget to click subscribe right here on the channel and we're gonna get started with your warm up. okay? Let's start with your left arm, big backwards arm circles right here in three, two, one, here we go. We've got 60 minutes together. I know that seems intimidating or daunting. Trust me, we're gonna be fine. Rep for rep, we're gonna work hard together. I've got more rest built into the 60 minute workouts than say a 30 or a 40. Okay, so we can last the whole time and switch directions with that same arm. Good job. So we'll have 40 second work periods, some 30 second work periods at the end. We've got 20 second rest periods in between our exercises. Let's switch arms. So we've got time and I'm gonna push you. We've got circuit style today. So we'll start with the back, then the triceps, then biceps, then abs, and then switch directions. We'll hit all of them together down at the end of the workout, okay? If throughout the workout you feel like you wanna stay moving in your rest periods, it's totally fine, that's up to you. Cross your arms right over your chest right here. Okay, this is gonna be a just a strength-based workout. So I'm gonna challenge you to work hard in progressive overload. So challenging yourself by either increasing your weights or if you don't have heavier weights, I need you to increase the reps that you do within the workout, within that time frame. Good job. And let's come on back to the back of your mat. Okay, hinge it forward. Let's slowly rock it down to the mat. And then go ahead and walk it out. Okay, plank position. I want you to push up into a pike and then back to a plank. Okay, we'll get your abs engaged. We'll get your shoulders rotating. Great job, guys. Let's go up one more time and then stay in that plank. And then you're gonna step up. Okay, so you're now in a deep squat position. You're gonna tap the floor, stand up, reach to the ceiling. Okay, so just a little bit of shoulder rotation sagittally. Good, three, two, and one. Now let's step it back to the middle, rotate the core a little bit here. Okay, pull your abs in. Great job. So like I said, we're gonna start with a back circuit today in about 30 seconds. Your first move will be laying flat on the ground for a straight arm pullover. All right, let's roll the wrists out. I'll show you your first move and then you can grab the dumbbell that you think works for you today. Okay, first move. You've got two arms or two hands reaching back, pulling right to your face. Okay, so you can have your lower back off the floor. I want you to feel the stretch in your lats and then pull it right back here, okay? Grab your dumbbell and we're gonna go in four, three. All right, let's go. 40 seconds right here. And you can also use two dumbbells. So if you don't have heavier dumbbells, double up on your lighter dumbbells, okay? You just gotta make it work for you. There we go. Reach it over and pull it back in. You're gonna feel this in your triceps as well, which is great. Good job. 10 more seconds and then we're gonna hop up. I'll show you your next move. Five, four, two, one, and great job. So come on up to standing. Your next move, we're gonna go with an alternating bent over row. Okay, so you're hinging. 
at the waist, right here. Left and right. If you've got lighter dumbbells, two hands together, okay? All right, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, hinge, heavier, let's alternate. If you have lighter, go two arms at a time. But regardless, I need you within that last 10 seconds of each set of 40 to feel like you're really pushing it, okay? Great job, your next back move right after this one will be your lightest, okay? I'll show you that and if you wanna drop down in weights, absolutely do it. You've got 10, nine. Perfect, three, two, one. All right, last move is a back fly. You've probably done this with me before. Okay, lighter dumbbells, longer arms, big shoulder blade squeeze. So you're hinging here, a little bit of an angle out front, squeeze back, and you're right here. Okay, let's go together in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. And remember, you're going back towards your spine, not out to the side. Okay, you're going backwards, which is why I have you here at this little angle. Great job. It's all about the control here. Great job. Think about the strong, defined back muscles you wanna feel, you wanna see. Five seconds. Great job, two, one, perfect. And we're back down to the floor for your straight arm pullover. Like I said, you wanna use two dumbbells, you can, but you gotta make sure your hands stay in line and they don't go out to the side here. Okay, let's go again. Straight arm pullover in four. Three, two, one, here we go. Great job. Nice strong arms. You'll feel it in the triceps as well. Just fine. Good work, guys. 12, 11. Five, four, good work. Come on, three, two, one. Yes, there we go, rest. And come on up. Bent rows, okay, alternating or together, whatever you choose. Also make sure your back is nice and flat. All right, here we go. Hinging right here in four. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulling right back toward your hip. Okay, so make sure you're not pulling up into your armpit, but you're pulling backwards toward your spine. Good. Nice work. Keep pushing yourself. Like I said, you wanna jog and the rest, you can. This is all about your strength today though, so I need you to be able to breathe and last. Good job, 10 more seconds. Five, four, come on, three, two, one. Amazing, and let's go back to your round number two of your back fly. Same kind of hinge position, you're going backwards. Okay, whatever you can get the best squeeze with, that's where I want you to go. Five seconds, here we go. Core is tight, two, one, let's do it. Good, feel those shoulder blades trying to connect and touch each other. Nice work. That's perfect, give me about 15 more seconds here. Breathing with every rep, and we'll go one more round through after this, okay? Seven. Stay flat with your back. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, last round. See how far you can push it up here. All right, if you feel confident, let's go up. 
45 seconds of work for round number three. All right, you know the moves. 45 seconds of work. Let's go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. We're going for 45, which means you've got 15 seconds instead of 20 to get up, grab your next weights, and we'll rock right into it. I know you've got this. Keep the dumbbell moving. Nice work. Good, last round of these, come on. 15 more seconds. Feel the shoulder blades open up and then pull them back down. 10, nine. And this is a good warm up for our next circuit too, which is triceps. And rest, good job, 15 seconds, let's roll up. Grab your bent row weight. Okay, here we go. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Bent row. Another thing you can do is kind of rest your dumbbells on your thighs as you're in kind of a hinged position here with a bent knee. Okay, that'll help you keep your back flat. Great job, great job. Neutral neck, okay, keep your head looking neutral. You've got about 12 seconds left. Come on, work the back, work the back. Big pull, four, three, and rest, good job. Back fly, last round, here we go. Shake your hands out, 10 seconds and we'll go. Last round to back fly. You ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go, big squeeze back. Good. Make sure you initiate the movement, not with a chest dive, but with a shoulder blade retraction. There you go, it takes some focus, and that's fine. I'd rather you do it well, then do it fast. Good job, good job. That's it, you're strong. You are incredibly strong right now. 10 more seconds. That's it, give me all you've got for five, four, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, and we've got about 30 seconds rest here, we're moving into triceps. So the back of the arm, that's our next circuit. We're gonna start with an overhead extension. Again, first round, we're going for 40 seconds. Okay, so in about 20 seconds, we're gonna bend and extend right here, okay? Elbows are nice and tight. If you have two lighter dumbbells, you wanna use those? Same thing, okay, you're gonna go here. I suggest crisscrossing your dumbbells, bend and extend, all right? Let's go in four. Three, two, one, elbows tight, bend and push. Good job. Another thing you can do if you don't have heavier dumbbells, do not stop at the top and at the bottom. Keep that tension going. Okay, so come about 75% of the way up, all the way down. Okay, I promise I will make it work for everyone. No worries. Nine, eight, seven, good job. Five, four, two, one. Great job, and we're back down to skull crushers. So the movement that we did first on your back, now we're gonna take that same move and bend your elbow and straighten it. Okay, so coming down with me here. Okay, we're gonna shift this dumbbell from our face a little bit past our head. You're gonna bend, extend, okay? Two, one. Let's go. So now it's all about the tricep. Let it bend. The tricep works to straighten your arm. You can use one dumbbell. You can also use two and go right down beside your ears, but keep your elbows in line with your shoulder. If you start getting out here to the side, it starts becoming more of a total upper body move. And I wanna isolate the triceps here for this circuit. 
I promise we'll get into combo moves today, but for right now, we're just isolating. Seven, six, three, two, one. Great work. All right, we're coming up for tricep kickbacks. This will be a lighter weight, just like the first circuit with your back flies was a little bit lighter. Control, again, is the name of the game. So you're hinging here, alternating, okay? I want you to go with the heavy weight. If you have lighter weights, go same time, okay? Ready? Let's go. Good, make sure you stop at 90 degrees. A lot of times I see people going here and here, okay, making this full 180 degree cycle. I want you to stop at bent, straight, stop. Straight, stop, okay? That way it's all out back. You're not cycling through. Five more seconds. And rest, good job. All right, we're moving back into overhead extensions. If you can go heavier, let's do it. Okay, overhead extension. Make sure you're holding this dumbbell with your hands circling the thicker part of the dumbbell so that your palm is flat on the weight. Two, one, let's go. And if you really think from your shoulder up to your elbow, straight line, maintain that. So don't let them come out to the side here. Don't let them come way back here. Shoulder to elbow, it stays right there. Great job, and as you start to get tired, I feel myself doing it too. You will try to feel like doing this. Keep it right in line with the shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, there you go. Come on down to Skull Crushers. Woo. One or two dumbbells, wherever you're at. Let's go, keep pushing yourself. Do not settle today for, let's take it easier. Let's go slow, push, Hard, three, two, one, dumbbells up, let's go. It's a long workout, it is a bit slower paced because it's a strength workout and I need you to last. But make no mistake, I need you to challenge yourself in every single rep. So I need you to be a little bit out of breath, I need you to be a little bit shaky, I need you to push a little bit past what's comfortable. Good work, 10 more seconds. Four, two, one, rest. Great job. Round number two of your kickbacks. And then we're going for that last round, 45 seconds, okay? Just adding five seconds onto every work period. Kickbacks, let's go. Let's close out round number two of circuit two. And three, hinge it, two, one, let's go. If you have lighter dumbbells, go both at the same time. If you're going a little heavier, let's alternate so you can keep the quality of the rep high. Beautiful job. Full extension, so if you're not extending all the way, the weight is too heavy. Keep the elbow up, good job, 13. Seven, six, two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, here we go. Last round, overhead extension. 45 seconds. Are you ready? Grab the weight that works for you. One or two dumbbells. 45. Here we go. Two, one, let's work it. If you're going a little lighter than me and your reps are a little faster, that's okay. If you're going a little heavier than me and your reps are a little slower, that's okay. All right, we're just working hard together. You are doing great. Come on, push, push, push. That's what we're here to do together. Push 
each other. 12 more seconds. Eight, seven, come on. Keep the elbows there. Four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Woo. Great job, and come on down. Overhead skull crushers, or just flat extensions, whatever you'd like to call them. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's work. You'll hear me breathing. I need you to do the same for yourself. I need you to hear yourself breathing. Great work. Come on, last half right here. And then we're done with the triceps and we're moving on from this muscle group. I promise you this workout is going to keep on rocking right on by. Ten more seconds. Good job. Five, four, one more. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Last round of your kickbacks. Give me what you've got left, okay? Good quality over quantity. I'd rather you squeeze really well. Keep your technique perfect. Two, one, let's go. And at this point, I know your triceps are tired. You've been working them hard for about eight minutes straight now. Okay, I need you to work them and keep the quality high of your reps. Think about your muscle. It is straightening. It is releasing a tiny bit to lower. Okay, don't just get through the reps. Execute the reps to your full potential. Good job. 14, 13. Good. Seven, six, three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Woo. And you've got 30 seconds rest. And we're moving right into biceps. And then after bicep circuit, we'll do our ab circuit. After the ab circuit, we've got a combo of the whole thing, okay? So we're halfway through our isolation. You're doing fantastic, okay? First move we're doing for isolation of biceps is alternating hammer curls, right here. Boom, boom, okay? So we're alternating. That means you can go maybe a little heavier. If you don't have heavier dumbbells, don't alternate. Just go two at a time, all right? Let's go in seven seconds together, right here. Okay, three, two, one, let's work. 40 seconds. Beautiful, think about the bicep. Again, don't just get through the reps. Execute the reps to the fullest potential. Think if I only gave you one rep to do, how hard would you work in that one rep? I need you to keep doing that every rep. 20 more seconds. Good work. It's okay to look at your arms. Make sure you're targeting the right muscle dominating this move. Six, five, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Now we're gonna drop down a little bit lower in weights, or I am. We're gonna do bent bicep curl switches. So give me a little hinge position here. Arms are hanging right out front. You're here. Okay, keep your elbows locked in right here beside your ribs. We'll go in three, two, one, let's go. There is no rest on this one, so don't stop at the bottom and hanging out. And hang out. <laughs> curl switches, hinged curl switches. Same thing, keep it all in line. Keep your wrist strong. Elbow stays right there. You're getting a good pump right here, right? 15 seconds. You're doing great. Seven, six, two, one, rest. Good job. And now we're going side curls, okay? Side to front, should say. Okay, so we're starting dumbbells pointing out from your legs. You're gonna go side, bring it to the front, lower. Side, front, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Curl and lower. 
just a little elbow swing into the middle. And as soon as you start lowering this one, curl this one. Good, focus here, focus, focus, focus. So this gives me control over both parts of this curl, right? The concentric right here and the eccentric right here. Two, one, rest, great job. All right, we're back to the top. Hammer curls alternating, boom, boom, okay? I need you to think about control. I have control completely over every single rep, okay? If I just gave you one rep and I said do 100% of your effort in this one rep, I need you to do that and then do it again, okay? Let's go. Same thing with your elbow. Think about your elbow being pinned right to your side. And on the way down, you keep it right there. That pin stays in your side. So the difference in that and this, as you can see, right, is your elbow helps you with the scoop on that last part. I don't want it to help you. Your bicep's only job is to bend the elbow. Five, four, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. Okay, we're back to your hinged switch curls. Right here. You can even make that sound effect if you want. <laughs> Seven, here we go. Three, two, bend it forward, open it up. Let's go, curl, curl. Good, keep it pumping, come on. You've got 20 more seconds. I know you're probably laughing right now, like what is she doing to us? I don't know, I'm not sure. My arms are feeling it too, so. <laughs> I know how you're feeling, but I know we're gonna finish strong. In eight, seven, good, good, good. Four, three, two, one, yes. Whew. Rest, good job. Side to front, okay? So the side, you get it here, you pull it in, and the release is just as controlled as the curl, okay? Here we go, in six, five, and then we'll go one more round of all three, 45 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Side, bring it down. Great work. This one takes some focus, so that's fine. If you're quiet and you're watching, your arms move for you. Try not to spend too much time up top here in this transition, okay? Nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, get ready for your 45 second round right here. We're starting with hammer curls, alternating. If you have lighter dumbbells, don't alternate. Give me two at a time, okay? All right. Here we go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, alternate. 45 seconds. You're doing amazing. That's it. The breath still counts. Longer work period, your breathing is more important. That's it, good. 15 more seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 15 and we're back to your bent curl switches. Okay, I know this one is an exhauster. Okay, let's go in seven seconds. Four, three, you got 45 seconds. Two, one, hinge it. Let's get it started. Pull, 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 pull. 
Whatever you gotta do just to make sure the dumbbells stay moving. Beautiful, woo, almost there. <laughs> You've got about 20 seconds, last 20 right here. Good job. We're done with isolating the arms after these next two, this one and the next one. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, side to front curl. Here you go, open the arms up, shake your hands out. We're going in five. Let's go three, two, one, to the side. Bring it in and lower. Don't drop, lower. Great work. As much time under tension with that bicep as you can give it. Good job, this last part needs to be a good challenge for you. Almost there, come on, 10, nine, four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. You've got 30 seconds rest and we're moving down to the abs. Isolation of the back is done, of the triceps is done, of the biceps is done. And now we're moving down to the core before we head into that last combo circuit. So let's go, keep pushing with me. The first move we have is a knee driver toe touch, okay? I'm gonna bring a light dumbbell down with me. I'll show you if you wanna use that, okay? We're taking arch of your foot, putting it right on your knee, okay? Hands overhead, you're gonna drive up, toe touch. Up, toe touch, okay? Let's go together in two, one, here we go. So I'm staying crunched up here up top. Okay, if you need to modify, put your hands under your butt. Lower, lift. Thirteen, twelve. Five, four. Two, one, rest. Great job, now you're gonna stay down here. The next one is gonna be a 90 degree crunch over and under, okay? So legs are at 90 degrees. You're gonna sit up, over, under, and then come back down, okay? Sit up, over, under, down. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Great job. So you gotta stay up there for a second. Modification would be to keep your heels on the ground. Come up, boom, boom. Or just give me one leg. Okay. Beautiful. Almost there, almost there. Nine, eight. Three, two, one. Rest, and we're gonna flip it right over to a plank body saw. First round, we're just going straight line, back and forth with your belly button, okay? So feet are wide, edges of your mat, elbows are right under your waist, you're going nose to the thumb, and then back, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Belly button in, glutes and abs are squeezed, quads are tight, you're moving up and back. Drawing a line with your belly button straight up and down this mat. If you want to add the dumbbell to your hips, feel free to do so. Or sit it on your lower back. If you need to modify, come up to your hands, okay? And just hold here. If you need to modify further, drop to the knees, okay? We're in this together. Let's go, seven, six, Good job. And we're back to your knee driver toe touch. 
If you would like to use a dumbbell in this second round, we're gonna switch legs. Okay, so if you'd like, you can grab your dumbbell here. All right, let's go in two, one, here we go. Arch of your foot at your knee. This one is deceiving, isn't it? Come on. Let's go, let's go. Keep your back flat. You've got eight, seven, three, two, one, and rest. Now in your over under sit up. Again, if you wanna add a dumbbell, you can, okay? 90 degrees with your legs. You're gonna go over, pass it under, Bring it back. Okay, over, pass it under, bring it back. All right, that's optional for you if you wanna do that. If not, just clap. Ready, let's go. Good work, come on. I know you've been working hard this whole workout. Don't slow down now. 10, nine. Focus, focus, we got this. Four, three, two, one, rest. And we're back to the plank body saw. Last round we did a straight line up and down the mat. This time we're gonna do a vertical line. Left to right, okay? Elbows down, feet are wide, you're sweeping. Left to right, okay? Here we go, two, one, let's go. Think about getting your belly button over to the right edge and the left edge. Do not let your belly drop, okay? I'd rather you have it up higher and pull in tighter, okay? Do not let the back sag. If you need to modify, again, come up top here. Side to side, do not be ashamed of where you're at. Okay, wherever you're at, we're working hard. And by the way, sometimes we all have to modify. Not everyone feels perfect on every day. So, as long as we're working hard, we're doing everything we can. Rest, good job. And it's your last round, we're 45 seconds on this one. Your knee driver, we're gonna start tucking the left arch onto the right knee for your first 20. Okay, and then halfway through, we'll switch. Okay, so left leg, right leg is straight. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Lower the legs, toe touch. 20 seconds here, or 22 seconds, <laughs> and then we'll switch. Switch it over, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, come on. Two, one, rest. And we got 45 seconds of your over under sit ups, clapping over and under, or doing one leg over and under, or doing a dumbbell over and under. Wherever you're at, let's work hard. Two, one, 90 degrees, let's go. And make sure you're not using your legs as leverage, so when you come back here, make sure your knees aren't rolling back and helping you get up, okay? They're staying right there, like your feet are up against the wall. Good job. 10 more seconds. Two, 
one and rest. Great job. We're back to your plank body saw and we're making circles this time. We did straight line up and down, horizontal. Then we did, sorry, we did vertical. Then we did horizontal. Now we're doing circles. Let's start with clockwise. In three, two, one, clockwise circles. You push back, up and around. Okay, I'll tell you when to switch directions, but right now, you're going like a clock. Up to the right, back to the left. Two, one, switch it over counterclockwise. Up to the left, down to the right. Good job. Come on. Eight, seven, and rest. Woo. You've got 30 seconds rest. Grab some water, and we're moving into six exercise giant set, okay? Okay, your first move is gonna be an alternating bent row, okay? You have two options here. You can put it down on the floor if you wanna go heavier, okay? So for instance, if you wanna go real heavy, Put it on the floor, row, put it down, switch. If you don't wanna go that heavy, grab two dumbbells right here, okay? We'll go together in 10 seconds. We'll go from the floor here. Alternating left row, then right row, okay? Three, two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. Good, and what I'm doing here is moving my leg out of the way for the arm that's rowing. Good job. Almost there, 12 more seconds, and then we're moving on to a little bicep and tricep action. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. First move is done. Second move is curl press, tricep extension. You're gonna do one dumbbell here, okay? You're gonna bring it here. Curl, press, tricep extension, okay? And then back down. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. And right before you get all the way down to the bottom of your curl, Bring it right back up, so we're not relaxing here. And the challenge here is gonna be to keep your elbows in tight. So it's gonna be easy to go here. Okay, it's gonna be easy to go here. Keep them all tight. There we go. 10 more seconds and we're dropping down on the floor for some dumbbell bicycles. Four, three, two, one, great job. Drop it down. One dumbbell is over your head. Okay, we're going bicycles right here. You're staying crunched. If you need to modify, no dumbbell. Go right here, okay? Just crossing elbow to knee. Four, three, two, one. Weight it up, crunch, let's go. Good job. Come on. I'm giving it a little bit of a rotation here. I'd love for you to do the same with me. But wherever you're at today, we're cycling and we're pushing our abs in so that our lower back stays flat. 13. Eight, seven. Four, two, one. And rest, your next move. Lots of fun, we've got a bent, alternating long row, stand up high row, okay? So, two dumbbells down here, okay? We're going row, row, stand up, high row, okay? Let's go together in four. Three, two, one, long row, both arms, 
And then stand up, high row. Dig the heels down, make sure you're not rolling up here. Dig the heels down and push. Beautiful, 10 more seconds. Great work, five, four, two, one, and rest. You've got two curl pulses, two kickbacks. All right, so lighter dumbbells. We're coming here. One, two, one, two. Okay, just like it sounds. Two curl pulses, two kickbacks. Ready? Let's go. Good job. So this is probably a lighter weight for you. And as soon as you drop out of that second curl pulse, just flip your hands to the side and go. One and two, okay? Good job. Nine, eight, four, three, two, one, rest. And your last move is an ab move. Okay, I've got a nice collection of a mess here today. <laughs> All right, first one, you're gonna go straight leg V. Okay, so you're coming up, and then you're gonna come up tuck. Okay, straight leg, and then tuck. To modify, one leg at a time. Straight and crunch. Ready, let's go. Straight leg, crunch. So you're going kind of from a star to a toe touch, star, tuck. The toughest part here is gonna to be to bring your legs up at the same time. Okay, so you're pulling in, lifting off, your legs come up together. Five, four, two, one, rest, great job. All right, and we are back to the very top, alternating bent rows. Going heavy if you wanna to go to the floor, that's fine. You wanna stay here, boom, boom, also fine, okay? Here we go in four, three, two, one. And you can step backwards like I was doing previously here, okay? If you wanna do that, that feels good. Or if you wanna put this hand here for support. Good job. Close your eyes and just think about the reps you're doing, okay? Keep pushing for quality reps, intensity, and in how well you execute each move. Eight, seven. Two, one, great job. Moving down to curl press, tricep extension. All right, here we go. Elbows in nice and tight. Remember, lock them in right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Curl, elbows tight again, extension. Good job. Keep that dumbbell moving. Good. Elbows stay in line with the shoulders. Hammer curl type of feeling. Nine, eight, three, two, one. Great job, we're done to bicycles. If you can add a dumbbell to the bicycle, let's go. Okay, if you're not ready for that body weight, let's go as well, okay? Eight seconds, if you're doing the dumbbell, crunch up first, twist. Ready? Three, two, one, let's work. Good. 
Good job. Make sure you're not straining your neck. It stays neutral, okay? So you're not pulling really hard. You're also not looking way up at the sky here. It's neutral. Twelve. Six. Five. And rest. Good job. We're at our alternating low row, stand up high row. We're alternating long row, stand up high row, sorry. Long, long, stand up high row. Okay, whenever you're ready, come on down. We'll go in three, two, one, here we go. And by the way, you can step up here as well, come up to full standing, and then row if you need to slow it down. Good job, challenge your core in the long rows to not shift. Good job, seven, six, two, one, rest. I think that's my favorite move of the whole day. Four core, or, sorry, two curl pulses, two kickback pulses, kickbacks. I'm losing it. Here we go, six seconds, curl, curl, kickback, kickback. Three, two, one, let's go. Curl, curl, and then rotate it back, kick back. And the point here is to not ever relax from this bent arm. Beautiful. You're holding that curl even as you rotate. So you curl, curl, your arm is still bent here. Turn, and now you're going right into a tricep work period. Six, five, you're doing fantastic. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Straight leg, V, up to a tuck, okay? You wanna use a dumbbell, feel free. That is totally acceptable. Okay, you're just gonna hold it in your hands. Make sure you don't use it to swing, okay? Here we go, two, one, pull the belly in, push the back down, let's lift. If you can think of anything, think of lower back pushes on the ground. Great job, 15. Legs come up together, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. My arms are shaking, anyone else's? We're back to the top, alternating bent rows. Let's go, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. Okay, I want you to get as many reps in as you can. Good quality. Are you ready? 30 seconds of work. Three, two, one, let's go. Alternating rows, whatever that looks like for you. Bent rows, one arm at a time. Either way, 20 seconds left. Good job, 12, 11, the intensity is high. It's your last round. Four, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. Curl, press, tricep extension. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Curl, triceps. Beautiful, 15 seconds. Keep it moving. Elbows in, push, push, push. Five, four, three, 
five, four, three, two, one. Now try and take that same dumbbell down for your bicycles. Okay, last round of bicycles. Whatever your bicycles look like, let's go together. In four, two, one, let's go. Good job, go, go, back is flat. 15 more seconds, a little quicker, go, go. Push it high, push it high, twist, 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 twist. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job, come on up. Alternating, row, row, stand up high row, 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. In four, three, Two, one, two rows, let's go. Good work. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And rest, now we're up to two curl pulses, two kickbacks. Show me what you've got here. Last round, curl, curl, kick back, kick back. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Here we go, curl, curl, push it back, kick. Keep that tension. Don't slow it down. Good, 15 more seconds. Let's go 15 together, right here. Nine, eight. Good curl pulses, come on. Four, three, two, one. Amazing job, we're back. Two, straight leg V up and tuck. Whatever you can give me here. Give me everything you've got left. Add a dumbbell if you can. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Up and tuck. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This is it. Last seven, six, five. And rest. You have made it to your cool down, guys. Come on over onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. Let's calm the back down a little bit first. All right, so knees are right under your hips. Walk your hands out, thumbs are facing the ceiling. Push your chest down to the floor and reach those fingertips out away from you. There you go, you should feel this in your lats really well. I've got a 10 minute arm burner for you right after this, so make sure you stick around you got 10 more minutes, I'm probably gonna use 10 pound dumbbells for 10 minutes straight just to burn out my biceps and my triceps really well. So I'd love for you to stick around with me for that. Just one more little burn to add on to today. Come on back forward, drop down. Beautiful. I'm so proud of you for pushing through this strength workout today. This is the kind of thing we have to be doing now when we're getting ready for, for me, a wedding. I'm gonna look really, really strong in my wedding dress and my back and my arms, okay? I know you wanna look the same, you wanna have good definition. Come on up to the top for me. Slowly roll it up. You wanna have some great definition when it comes to the events that you have planned for this year, okay? Can't tell you how many times that people say, I just wanna be more defined. I wanna have a little bit more muscle tone. These kind of workouts have to be done, okay? I know the cardio and the hit and the hoppy and the jumpy and all the other workouts that are maybe a little bit more intense in terms of speed seem a little bit more sexy, right? But we've gotta put in the work to get stronger and develop our muscle so that as we do those hit workouts and we lose body fat, we have muscle to show underneath that body fat, okay? So we've gotta have a combination of both, a beautiful, healthy, strong, athletic, lean and fit version of you is what I want. 
Whatever that looks like for you is different for everyone, but basis of everything that we do has got to be a strong, stable body. Great job. Pull your arm right over across your chest. Amazing job today. Whether you have light dumbbells, heavy dumbbells, I would suggest no matter what your dumbbell weights are, what the numbers are, which is why I never say what number I'm picking up throughout the workout. I'll say, I'm gonna go a little heavier, I'm gonna go a little lighter. Whatever the weights are for you, I need you to know that for sure you have weights that are challenging you, okay? If you have weights that are just minimal and they're barely doing anything for you aside from just giving you something to hold on to and the last 10 seconds of every work period is not something where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm really, really pulling here. Then they're not heavy enough for you. You're too strong for that weight, okay? In order to change anything about your body, you've gotta ask it to adapt to challenges, okay? And if it's not adapting to challenges, it's gonna stay exactly the same, or you might even regress a little bit, just losing muscle tone and losing strength development, okay? Big deep breath in with me. As you exhale, put your hands on your tailbone and push forward. I just want you to think about that, okay? Accepting challenges changes you in the best way possible. All right, come back into the front. I am so, so proud of you today. Make sure you are confident in the fact that you're stepping up to the plate in these new challenges. Otherwise, you're, you're telling yourself, I'm comfortable right where I am, and I, I, I'm working hard for no reason, right? And I know you're not. I know you have goals. I know you want things for yourself and your body and the way that you're working out hard here with me, I know there's a reason behind that. Your why has to be the most important part of the way that you think and the way that you operate in terms of your heart, okay? So your why is what pushes you to step into these new challenges because you are here to make some positive changes in your life, whether that's mental health, physical health, aesthetics, just in shape, strength and fitness, Whatever it is for you, you're definitely gonna to wanna to step up into a challenge. Otherwise, you're telling yourself, I'm cool right where I'm at. Okay, and if I know you, I know you have some desire to improve yourself in some way. And that's the blessing of this journey, okay? There is absolutely a need to be in love with who you are as a person right now. Don't ever forget that. And also know that you love yourself enough to say, hey, I know myself and I know I can do even more for myself. I know there's a better version of me still waiting in the future for me to step up to the plate right now and get ready to be that person, okay? So if you're just staying here in the slow lane, that next version of you is like, come on, we're ready, we're ready here. You just gotta keep taking those steps to progress. Challenge yourself, step up to the plate because that next best version of you is waiting and they're ready. Just envision your next best version of you. Love yourself here, love yourself here, 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 throughout the whole journey and love yourself enough to know overall that you deserve the best and your best is a new best every single day, okay? So let's keep pushing for that future self. Keep pushing for that new best today. I promise you, if you wanna stay in the safe zone, if you wanna stay in the slow lane, you're going to always think, what if? And I never want you to think, what if? I want you to think, watch me, okay? Let's watch each other, let's motivate each other. I want you to know, you can do this. Don't doubt yourself, don't take a step and be like, ah, never mind, step back, okay? Take a step, embrace the fear, let it push you, okay? And know that you're worth that next step. That best self, you, is waiting for you to be like, come on, let's step up to the plate. We've got some things to do. All right, so make sure before you head out today, you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. Comment below what you're gonna do today to be your best self. I love you, tell someone else in our community, on your team, great job, they've got it. And stick around for that 10 minute arm burnout. I'll see you in just a few seconds. Bye guys.